Duke Medicine is an extraordinary place because of the extraordinary men and women who work here, who work every day with patients and their families, who come here at some of the most vulnerable times in their lives and make a difference with that compassionate care. You're going to hear some stories of folks tonight who work in Duke Medicine who made that difference. David Myers, a Duke patient advocate, received two nominations, both of which came from oncology patients and their families. Both nominators praised David's attention to their concerns and his overall professionalism. I think that we should always say, that's what I'm here for. Um, and if, um, if we can get in our patient's shoes and do that well, we're going to go above and beyond. You know, I don't have a medical degree, I don't have all those things, but I can still um, communicate to the patient uh, concern, empathy, compassion, um, and all of those things are important in medicine too. I feel very lucky uh, to work where I do. Um, I know that we have the opportunity as Duke employees, more than most people, uh, to make a huge impact uh, in people's lives. For Camp Kaleidoscope, a three-week-long camp for Duke Pediatrics patients, this team of guys from engineering and operations volunteered to build go-karts that camp kids could take apart, reassemble following printed instructions, and then race. This enabled the kids to work together as a team, build cooperation skills, and have fun all in one. The kids had a really good time. They enjoyed it. We got some feedback on it that they had a good time. I think the, adult, the adults enjoyed it some too. Well, any time that you can help these kids forget about it for a little while, forget about whatever's troubling, the council, whatever they had, and to get them outside and let them be active, it makes you feel good. And I was so glad to do it. Annette Winston, a health unit coordinator in the neonatal intensive care unit, gave a little extra of herself to make sure a mother knew her infant was in good hands. Mom was very sick at home and unable to come into the NICU to see her baby, so Annette turned to a hobby to offer comfort to the family, knitting them a tiny baby blanket. This mom um, received the blanket and it really impacted her in the way that she was being included into the care of her baby because it was just a small gesture, you know, of faith. Once she received the blanket, she was just so touched by it and that she slept with it every night because she was unable to come to our unit. So I had given to her husband to pray for it like a prayer cloth and maybe bring it back to the baby. But mom decided that she wanted to keep it and she would sleep with it at night. So she said it made her feel very comfortable that somebody in the unit you know cared about her and just made mom a part of of you know what was going on so mom was they were very thankful i wasn't doing it to to be recognized i was just doing it as just a small gesture you know just something that i would give to a person i wasn't really doing it to be recognized so i was quite surprised when i was recognized mission statement is just to help everyone be the best person that you can be. And I feel as though if you come to work, put your best foot forward, then you'll make everybody else's day as pleasant as possible. I'm very proud of the staff we're honoring here this evening and the thousands of employees that take care of our patients each and every day at Duke Hospital. Every day, thousands of patients and families enter our doors at Duke Hospital looking for the strength and the hope and through our caring by our staff, incredible things happen in the lives of our patients and families. It's our staff that makes the difference. It's our staff that builds the foundation for who we will become as an organization that makes a difference in the lives of not only this generation, but the next generation.